Hey Booktube, what's up? It's Tori, and today I'm coming to you guys with the mid-year book freakout tag. A little late, like a month late, but it's okay, because I'm going to do it, because I've had it written down for about a month now, and I just haven't had the time to actually film it and edit it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it now, because I want to share with you guys what I'm freaking out about so far this year. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this tag was created a couple years ago, and um, I've seen it on YouTube for the past couple of years, and um, I will actually go find the links to the original videos, and I'll link them down in the comments below for you guys, so that way you can go and watch theirs and decide whether or not you want to do it yourselves, or, you know, whatever. Whatever's cool, you do you. Um, but the first uh, question on it, I have 14 of them. I think I just did the ones that I saw um, Jesse did on his page. So, the first question is, what is your favorite book, or the best book that you've read so far this year? And for that, I had to go with, of course, if you guys know me, this is such an obvious answer, but I had to go with A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas, because, ah, ah, if you haven't read this book, or this series, you guys need to do it, because, like, if you've seen this, if you've watched my channel before, or if you watch my channel, you guys would know that A Court of Mist and Fury is my child. It is my book child, and I'm in love with that book so much, and this was just such a great follow-up to that book, and, like, everything that went down in it was absolutely spectacularly amazing, and I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this book in my life, or this series in my life. I'd have- to, I'd be so bored. This is so good. And question number two is the best sequel that you have read or, yeah, the best sequel you've read so far in 2017, and for that I picked Gemina by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is, yeah, that was right. This is the second book in the Illuminae Files. Oh, amazing. Like, I say this all the time, like, on Twitter and on Instagram and all that, but you don't just read the series, you experience it. Like, I don't, just, the formatting is so unique, and the storyline itself is just, amazingly written out and amazing it's and I said amazing twice yeah it's just that amazing that I have to say amazing twice in the same sentence like whew, so great I think oh man if you haven't read this definitely check it out the third book Obsidio is going to be coming out later this year I believe in November I think it was supposed to come out in October but it got pushed back to November I'm not 100% sure go look on Goodreads you'll find it but um definitely the best sequel that I've read so far for question number three, it is a new release that you haven't read yet but want to. And for this, I picked Eliza and Her Monsters by Frances Franz yeah, Francesca Zeppia. Sorry. Francesca yeah, Francesca Zeppia. My bad. I'm sorry. Um I've been wanting to read this since I got it in my outgrade a couple months ago, and it is actually going to be the book of the month for Anna and I's Reading Club, uh Raiderland Rebels on Goodreads. Uh, we just posted our live show for last month's discussion, which was My Lady Jane, and then at the end we revealed that we will be reading Eliza and Her, Monst and her Monsters together next month, or this month, I guess. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I actually don't know at all what this book is about, and I've done that on purpose, because I want to be completely surprised when I dive into it, and I want to, like, go in completely blind and just experience it from the start, all fresh. Question number four is... The most anticipated release for the second half of the year, and this is kind of a tie between um, the Kale novel for the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss, as well as Obsidio by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Um, I can't decide which one I'm more excited for. I don't know, man. That's like, I don't know, that's, that's a hard decision. Both are going to be, like, amazing no matter what, just because the authors are so spectacular that I know that nothing bad's going to come out of their work. It's just not possible. But, um, yeah, those are my two. Question number five is the biggest disappointment. And for that, I picked After the Woods by Kim Savage. Um, it's not that I didn't like this book, because I did. It's just I was expecting more from it than what came out of it. And so I was a little disappointed, but um, I did give it, I think I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, roughly, on Goodreads. But um, it was really good. It's just, out of the books I've read so far this year, this one has the one that has excited me the least. Question number 6 is the biggest surprise. And for that, I picked Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levensteller. Levensteller, sorry. Levensteller. <laughs> 
this book is awesome. Like, I got it in Owl Crate a few months ago, and I was like, hmm, what is this? The girl on the cover looks like Merida, but she's got a sword instead of a bow and arrow. So, I don't know, let's read it. This book was so funny, it was so good, it kept me totally enthralled in the story the entire time I was reading it, and honestly, I'm super excited for the sequel, which is um, Daughter of the Siren Queen. So that'll follow our character's mother. So I'm like uber excited about it, and I can't wait for it to come out, so yay. Okay, question number seven, yes, is your favorite new author or debut author, now this can be a debut author or an author that is new to you. And for that, I picked Stephanie Garber, the author of Caraval. I don't believe she's a new author. I believe she's written some other things before, but um, she was new to me. This is the first book I've read by her, and I absolutely love this. It was a total mind F. Like, I was so thrown off by everything that was thrown at me in this book that I didn't even have a way to suspect who was the actual mastermind behind everything that happened and I think that is something that I look forward to in a book and I think that is an amazing quality that can or an, an amazing aspect that can happen when reading a book and so therefore I absolutely adore ooh, pretty <laughs> sorry I got distracted I absolutely adore Stephanie Garber's writing style and I really want to know what's gonna happen in the next book there's so many questions that I want answered but um if you want to know those questions, you can go look at the video of the live show that Anna and I did for the month of June? Yeah, June. That's when we read Caraval, we did a live show and posted discussions about it for Readerland Rebels, so go check that out because it's super cool. Number nine is your newest fictional crush, and for this I've got to bring back Caraval again because that would be Julian from Caraval. He's the main male, he's the male lead character in this book and whoo he's gorgeous like mm, I would love to have me Julian okay weird me is gone semi normal me is back and the next question is your favorite fictional character new fictional character yeah newest favorite character sorry and that is Mariko from The Flame of the Mist by Renee Adier I just read this book for the biannual bibliothon and booktubeathon last week and y'all, this book is awesome. Like, it is action-packed, and it's kind of a Mulan retelling. Sorry, the book checker is coming off. Okay. It's kind of a Mulan retelling sort of thing going with it, and it's super, like, action-y and... Action-y? Is that even a word? It's super action-packed. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot going on story-wise with the characters, like, the different characters amongst themselves. Like, mm, awesome book. Highly recommend if you haven't checked it out already. And look how pretty. It's so pretty. Question number oh, 10 is a book that made you cry. And for this, I actually have two options. The first one is a very obvious one that made most people who read it cry. And that is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This book broke my heart. Repeatedly. Um, I cried so much <laughs> for this and for the show because I watched the show too. But it was an amazing book, and it's, again, I've said this before, I believe, but it's a book that I believe that everyone needs to read at least once in their lives, just so they can, like, I don't know. I, I felt like this captured a lot of the issues that our main character had. Sorry, that was out there. But um, a lot of character, a lot of the um, issues that our main character had within herself, as well as within himself because main character is a guy and then it was following Hannah Baker's story of why she killed herself so like I don't know it's really I don't know, I, I was really moved by it and I, I just loved this book it was awesome and then the other book that made me cry like a baby was All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven <sighs> I love this book it's so good like both of them are so good um both of them deal with mental illness and just oh man it's so good and I've read this book while I was at one of our assistant dance teachers houses um, before I stage managed for my own studio's recital this past summer and I was sitting on our couch just bawling because I was reading this and all she was all she could do is really just look at me and be like you good and I was like no and she's like you okay I was like no the book and she's like I'm sorry it's okay but, you know, I, I love it. 
I love it when books make me cry because it means that I can like really feel what's going on in the books, you know, but yeah, that's it for that question. Question number 11 is a book that made you happy and for this I picked Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Now yes, this book did make me insanely infuriated at parts and like sad and worried and all this, but in the end it made me extremely happy to know like where the characters are going from where they were at the beginning to where they are at the end. And sorry, I'm trying not to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't read it or seen the movie. But um, I really, really loved this book. You can actually hear my thoughts on it a little bit in a lot greater detail in the live show that Anna and I did in May? Yeah, May. When we first started uh, Read Alone Rebels, this was our first book that we did together there. But um, yeah, so it made me happy and I really loved this book. Question numero doce is the, that's number 12 for those of you who don't know, um, the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year, and it can also be received, and for that I picked The Book Jumper by Mechthild Glacier. I'm sorry, I totally botched that, I'm so sorry, I apologize, but it's so pretty! And like, I've been wanting this book for months, and it finally showed up on Book Outlet, and then it like, of course, I had to get it, and it's just, it's, it's beautiful, like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I've put it down to where you can't even see it, but, um, I want to read this book soon, so I want to know what, it, I don't know what it's about other than the fact that the main character can jump through stories, and I don't really want to know what it's about until I read it, because I like to be fully surprised by the books, but, um, yeah, excuse me, this is the... Most beautiful book I've gotten so far this year. So pretty. And question number 13, yes, is what books do you need to finish by the end of the year? And I have a couple of them that I want to put in here. And so I've got The Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver. I have been meaning to read this for a very long time now and I need to read it before the end of the year just because I want to have at least one full trilogy under my belt this year, because I have not done that yet, and I need to, because I, I, I need to. And then I also have Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, which, yes, I know, I know, I have not read this yet, but I have read Carry On and Fangirl, and everyone says this book is amazing, and if you like the other ones, you'll love this one, so I'm hoping they're right, because I don't like to doubt my book fam, I trust their opinions with books, but, um, yeah, so I need to read this one before the end of the year, and I also want to make sure that I get done An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, because I have also not read this one yet. I know. I'm ashamed. It's okay. I'll get there eventually. But, um, yeah, all three of these books are, like, insanely popular. Ugh. Have been at one point if they're not still popular. And I just feel like I need to jump on, this band on these bandwagons, plural, and read them before the year is end. Before the year's end. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And finally, the last question of the mid-year book freakout tag is, who is your favorite book community member? And for this, it can be a booktuber, a blogger, and a book or bookstagrammer, just anyone that you know from the book community. And I have a couple that I'd like to list. Um, first and foremost is my best friend Anna, because without her I wouldn't even be on booktube. And then there's Jessie from Jessie the Reader, Sasha from uh, Book Utopia, um, Christine from Extine May or Pulling Bananas Books, um, Caddy from Caddy Tastic, Natasha from Natasha from Tashopolis, and oh man, there's so many Ariel um, on Bookstagram. There's a bunch of people that I follow. Um, let's see, I can't think of anybody right off the back because I follow so many people. Um, I really, really adore anything posted by Dark Fairy Tales. Um, her blog, or, yeah, I guess it's her blog, not really, but kind of. Her Instagram page is so beautiful. Like, I have never seen book pictures as pretty as hers before, and I've seen a lot of book pictures that are beautiful. Hers are just amazing. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, and thank you guys so much for watching. That is all for this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. I think I do it backwards every time. 
I'm not meaning to, but I think I do. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys have been reading so far this year. And um, if you've done this uh, book tag already, link it down below because I want to go see it. Because I think looking at what you guys read is super awesome and super fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!